taking a final mic check. Um, Lucy, if you can hear me well, could you just raise your right hand so I can get a little bit? Ah, beautiful. Thank you very much. So we're just coming up to 7.30, getting ready to start. Welcome to the Wednesday night yin class. Uh, my name is Chris, for anyone who doesn't already know me, and uh, it's my intention over the next 60 minutes to take you through a gentle yin sequence. It's really focusing on opening up through the hips and also through the heart space. This is where we keep emotions and this is where we compress fear. So it's just really a chance to let go of that, a chance to let go of everything outside and just get really present. The yin practice is really about taking not a stretch, but a gentle stress through a muscle. So in a strong practice, in a yang practice or in a gym, you might stretch a muscle that would be aimed to open up a muscle. In the yin practice, we come to the first point of sensation, just lengthen through the muscle and then hold that pose so that the stress can gently, a positive stress can work through the muscle, through the connective tissue and into the bones. So you're loosening the fascia that binds the whole of the body together. It's this integral binding material that we're working with. I'd like you to focus on two ingredients, time and stillness. And sometimes this can be a challenge because the planning mind wants you to move around and do stuff, but it's important to find your center and stop moving and allow the posture to work at a deeper level. So I'd like you to begin this process now by starting with me with a little bit of breathing just to relax the whole of your body. If you're not already, maybe find a comfortable seated pose to come into, anything that feels easy for you. I'm going to use a series of breathing called 4-6 breathing. This is a gentle way of slowing down the breath, bringing us into a more conscious present moment. We're inhaling for four and exhaling for six. The longer, slower exhale means that we can relax the body and slowly slip into the what's called the parasympathetic nervous system where we rest, relax, heal. So I'd like you to sense the breath coming in through both your nostrils and exiting through both your nostrils. Gently becoming aware of how you breathe. The primary breathing apparatus is the diaphragm muscle. And when you contract this diaphragm muscle, you draw it down and you suck air into your lungs. We also use the ribs and also the neck muscles as second and third muscles. But I like it engaged through the diaphragm, contract to pull the air in. And you'll notice when you relax this muscle, you push the air out. So gently inhale now and relax this big muscle. Let the air go out. And we'll count together, inhaling for a count of one, two, three, four, and exhaling all the way for six, five, four, three, two, one. Together, three more times for one, two, three, four, and exhaling all the way, six, five, four, three, two. One, feel the diaphragm as you inhale. One, two, three, four, and exhale slowly. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, one more time together. Inhale. One, two, three, four, and exhale all the way. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and then gently allow your body to relax. Allow your breath to come back to an automatic breath. Just let it flow. Good. We're going to open up the practice today with toe stretch. The idea is toe stretch is to stretch through the soles of the feet so that you can open up through the reservoirs of chi that reside in the sole of the foot. And we're stretching through the sole of the foot to do this releasing this energy to come up through the meridians, nourishing the internal organs. We'll start in toe stretch. This can be quite a strong posture. If you have a blanket, it's quite nice to roll this up and place it behind your knees, wedge it in there. This just decompresses through the knees a little bit. Then come up onto the toes. And gently lower your hips down towards your heels. Now you can soften this slightly 
or placing the hands on the floor or even leaning forward to relax a little. Or maybe you're comfortable to sit your hips all the way down towards your heels, whatever feels right to you. We're only in this one for 90 seconds. The reason it's shorter is because it is a burning posture. So to stay here for the full four minutes, which is our chosen time lapse for our postures tonight, would be too strong. I just want you to relax here, knowing that we're not here for that much longer. We've got around about 35 more seconds in this pose. I want you to feel a stretch through the soles of your feet and allow this to draw you into your practice. Present moment, the sensation in your feet. This present moment, all that really counts. Another couple of gentle breaths, not regulated, just gentle automatic breaths in this pose. And then we'll gently ease on out and come into our first rebound. A rebound really is just a resting pose that we hold for around about 40 seconds in between each posture. You can rest onto your belly, you can rest onto your back. You just need to be held by the earth, right? Long enough so that you can feel the sensations in the target area. Right now, you should be able to feel the soles of your feet. There's a gentle shift of energy. Some people can sense this, feel this. Sometimes it feels like a subtle tingling. To me, it feels like sort of gravity moving through channels. To some, it doesn't feel like much. It is a subtle, subtle feeling. So just allow it to be, whatever it is. And give yourself permission over these next 60 minutes to let go into your practice. Look for the space in between your thoughts rather than trying to stop thinking now. It's too difficult. Just look for the space in between your thoughts. And we're generally going to come into our first posture, which we'll hold for four minutes. It's called sweep, sleeping swan, and the target area is your right bum cheek. So I'd like you to bring your left shin in line, and you'll notice I'm shifting around a little bit. That's just so that you can see useful angles. Bring your left shin in line with the top edge of your mat. And shift yourself over to the left edge of your mat, and bring your right shin in line with the right edge of your mat. Now I say in line with, you don't have to be specific. As long as you can get to the target area, which is your left bum cheek, then it's all good. So when you're ready, I'd like you to lower your chest down to the inside of your left thigh. Now maybe you have a, a pillow or a bolster or some blocks to rest your head onto so it's comfortable. The supported position means that you can soften deeper into the pose. I'm going to start the watch here, four minutes. Earlier we mentioned looking for the spaces in between your thoughts. I'll use a little bit of narrative. This is purely a gimmick to take you away from your planning mind and into your practice. And maybe my voice will help you to do that now. Or maybe you can just drift into your practice all by yourself. Lovely analogy I like to use for finding the space in between your thoughts is to imagine yourself high up in the sky, as high as you would be in an aeroplane, looking down on the countryside and noticing the odd cloud wisping past underneath you. Clouds come and go as you fly through the air. They're much like thoughts. Sometimes there are lots of clouds, and sometimes there are gaps in the clouds, but they always come and go. 
They're not consistent. And they're just like thoughts. Thoughts are inconsistent. They change shape. They come and go. And just like the clouds, every now and again, there's a gap between the thoughts. And as you find the gaps in between your thoughts, you're staring straight into the present moment. Finding the gaps between your thoughts will bring you directly into the present moment. And when you become present, you'll notice time has no meaning. But when you're trapped in your thoughts, thinking and planning, Time has a way of dragging its heels and binding you to its concepts. If you can let it go, let your thoughts go, and dive into the spaces in between, you will notice something very special. So let go and give yourself the freedom to just be. Last 40 seconds in this pose. Maybe you can allow your stillness to draw you deeper and deeper still. Mm. Last couple of breaths. Mm. All right, yogis, we have arrived. If you've used anything to rest your head on to, can you push it out of the way? And softly come to your rebound, which is just any position that means that you can relax like a big pile of rubber bands straight onto the ground. No muscular activity at all. And just see if you can sense the sensations through your left bum cheek. And sometimes in the practice, you may notice me moving around, observing the camera, or looking at my watch. This is just so that I can maintain and facilitate the practice. So you don't need to worry about anything. You can just be in your practice. Letting go. Softening. As we get ready for the next posture, which is called Twisted Roots, you may wish to lie onto your back to get ready, if you're not there already. And in Twisted Roots, you're going to bend the right knee so that the sole of your right foot is pressing on the ground, a lot like mine is, if you can see the demonstration. And then float your left leg up and over your right leg. It's a little bit like you're crossing legs on the side of a sofa. See if you can scissor the gap between your thighs shut and draw your knees together. Good. And then when you're ready, send your arms nice and wide. It can be nice, by the way, to have something underneath to the right edge of your mat. So you've got something to rest your legs onto when we rotate. 
So gently now when you're ready, rotate both of your legs over to the right edge of your mats. There's a posture I won't stay in because it crushes my mic pack, which is located on my right hip. But I'd like you to soften your left shoulder down. Maybe use your right arm to hold your left knee towards the ground. Take a breath in through both nostrils. And gently exhale to relax into your pose. Allow your breathing to be completely automatic. Your thoughts can come and go, and come and go, and eventually, the more still your body becomes, the more still your mind may become. As you open up through your left thigh, left hip, left ribs, softening the left knee towards your prop or floor, and being careful to relax your left shoulder down into the earth, letting go, finding stillness inside your practice. If you haven't already, I highly recommend that you close your eyes. Allow the eyelids to shut if they haven't already. And as you do this, soften deeper into your pose, just gently. And allow your gaze to wander inward, deep inside of you. Leave your planning mind behind and feel the freedom of being present in your body right here, right now. We're just entering the last minute of this pose, knowing that you're growing closer and closer to the deeper end. Maybe you can soften a little more still. Maybe there's something that you can release. Let go. All right, yogis, we have arrived at four minutes. It's time for you to release yourself from the pose and lie on the ground. Let go. And as you soften all of your muscles and all of your bones, and relax into the ground, maybe allow your awareness to shift through your left and notice any subtle differences between your left hip and your right hip right now. If 
feel the sensations and stay inside your body. Alright yogis, now that we've started opening up through the outer left hip, we're going to open up through the outer right hip. So gently move yourself so that you can comfortably come into sleeping swan on the other side. We'll be demonstrating it here. I'm going to shift to the other end of my mat so you can see it from a more useful angle. But my right thigh is more or less in line with my right edge of the mat. And my right shin is more or less in line with, but not at the top of my mat. Left shin somewhere along the left edge of the mat. The target area this time is the right butt cheek. So once you've found these two angles in your body and it's comfortable to you, you're going to exhale to draw your chest somewhere over the inner right thigh. For your body, you may go wide. You may come in close. doesn't matter. As long as you feel a gentle opening, through the outer right butt cheek, softening through your bum cheek muscles. As you relax into the stillness of the pose. Maybe you're comfortable to float deeper into this posture. Just hovering around the first point of sensation. Remember, it's not a strong gym stretch. This is a slight subtle lengthening of the muscle to open up through the fascia, the connective tissue. This tissue runs through the muscle and into the tendons and into the bone and becomes the bone and becomes the ligament. It's a gentle stress. Maybe you're drifting into this beautifully. Or maybe a gentle mantra would help you. Allowing the three words to float around your own natural breath. Repeating simply, I am still. I am still. Now if you happen to say this out loud, Say it quietly and more quietly until you internalize these words so that you can only hear them, not in your head, but deep inside your heart. I am still. Last 90 seconds in this posture. I am still.
All right, yogis, we have arrived. It's time to gently ease on out of your posture and come onto your rebound. Maybe you choose to rebound on your back. Maybe it's just nicer to come to your front, whichever feels right to you right now. The only reason I suggest maybe come into your back is because it's a shorter route to the next pose. But whatever you choose, just let go and let the ground hold you. Isn't it wonderful that we have a solid earth underneath us and gravity to hold us? So when we let go, we are held and supported. So in a couple of moments, I'm going to talk us into the next posture, which is twisted roots on the other side, for those of you who know it. If you're not already lying onto your back, please just move and shift to lie on your back. And you may wish to place a prop or a cushion or a blanket on the left edge of your mat. Go ahead and bend your left knee and place the sole of your left foot on the ground. And then float your right leg up and over your left leg so that you can just scissor the thighs together. Send your arms nice and wide as if opening up your heart towards the heavens. Take a breath in and then exhale to roll your knees over to the left side this time, maybe resting your legs onto a bolster or a cushion or whatever is there, or maybe the ground. Allow yourself to open up to the right side of your thigh and hip. Allow your right shoulder to melt towards the earth. Maybe your left hand rests on the outside of your right knee just to hold it down if that's comfortable. Allow one or two breaths to just stroke the inside of your right rib cage as you loosen through the gentle muscles that bind your right rib cage and relax into your posture. Letting go, finding stillness and drifting into the space in between your thoughts.
Last 90 seconds in this posture. Last couple of breaths in this posture. Can you feel the space in between your thoughts? We have arrived. Gently release yourself in a pose and come into your rebound. As you lie here in the rebound, if you're still enough in your rebound and you just sense the sensation through your body, what's happening is, and this is a natural process, even if you don't understand it, it will happen anyway. The chi energy from the reservoir in the soles of your feet is gently soaking up through the meridians in your body to nourish your internal organs. The internal organs suffer trauma through life. And when the meridians slowly become blocked or damaged or the flow of energy isn't the same as it was when we were very young. We need to find ways to reestablish the flow. The yin practice, practice actively reestablishes the movement of chi energy through the meridians and into your internal organs. It's almost like you're breathing life into your body. So allow yourself the stillness for your body's intelligence to do this. Having opened up through the outer thighs, our next pose is going to take us to the inner thighs. For those of you who know it, it's called frog pose. And we'll be using gravity and the posture to release through the inner thighs and open up all the way to the internal organs. So moving nice and slowly, I'll demonstrate it first. If you're not familiar with it, you can watch me do this. I'm going to show it to you in two angles. So I'll be shifting from the same pose back to the same pose from two different angles. So 
come to a kneeling position and then widen your knees as I have done, as wide as you comfortably can. Try and keep your shins parallel if you can. And then bring something in front of you that you can rest your chest onto. It just has to be enough for your chest. A bolster or a cushion can do this really well. When I used to practice in Australia, I never used to use the bolster and frog. I used to just like to open up. Maybe you like that too. All you need to do is rest down. And you can rest onto your shoulders. You can rest onto the bolster. Whatever you need to do to soften through your inner thighs and allow time to loosen the connective tissue that binds the front line of your hip. Showing you that from the other angle. The posture looks like this. My knees are wide and my hips, and you can see this from this angle, are pretty much in line with my knees. So I'm not sending my hips back a long way and I'm not bringing my hips towards the ground in front. My hips are in line with my knees. And this means that I'm opening up through my inner thighs. So get comfortable and get ready to be still for four minutes in this pose. Have a little shift around if you need to. Take a nice long breath in. And let's start the clock. So let go. Be still. And begin to open up. Physically, you can open up through the inner thighs. Energetically, you can open up and allow your awareness to dive deep inside of who you really are. Let go, let go. As you feel yourself comfortably slipping deeper into the pose, allow your body the freedom to move into its healing space. Your body is really very good at healing itself. Your body's inner intelligence knows far more then your conscious mind is capable of grasping. And yet your body will listen to your instructions and allow you to distract it. Sometimes you just need to give it the space and freedom it needs to perform the miracles of life deep inside of you. As you soften and ease yourself as comfortably low as you wish to go right now, there's less than one minute left in this pose. So you can be truly open with yourself, move beyond your thoughts and witness the part of you that has been evolving 
since way before your birth. All right, yogis, we have arrived. Now, Froggy is one of those ones who want to come out of super, super slowly. <laughs> so gently, gently. Reposition your arms so you can shift your weight towards your hands. and Maybe move one knee at a time until you're comfortable. To push away any props and come to your rebound. Slowly lying all of your body flat or comfortably against the earth. Now is the time to let go. Let go. Release your body a little deeper into the earth. We've got about 30 seconds in this rebound still remaining. Time for you to let go. All right, yogis, it's time to shift that central opening from the front of the hips all the way into your heart space. We're going to do this by coming into Puppy Dog, another one of my favorites. Now, you can have a bolster or a cushion or a blanket to maybe position underneath your rib cage. But come into an all fours position just long enough so you can position your hips almost directly above your knees. And then walk your hands forward, leading with your heart space towards the earth. Maybe you rest your chest onto the ground or onto a bolster or onto something comfortable. Maybe you rest your forehead all the way down. Depends on what's comfortable for you. And once you've had a little Shift around, make sure you're at the first point of sensation, not going too deep. We'll start our four minutes and allow this journey to come into your heart space as you open up. Be careful with your shoulders. If there's any pinching in your shoulders, soften your elbows inwards slightly. And then let the ground draw your heart towards it. As you open up, you'll feel your shoulder blades melt together and your ribs broaden and your heart space and your chest broaden. It's almost as though you can open up your heart and connect with Mother Earth and absorb her grounding energy straight into your heart space.
deeper we go, the freer we are. We have arrived, yogis. Time to exit your posture. Move anything to the side that was holding you. Just relax onto the earth. Soften every muscle. Take your rebound. As you allow your body to absorb the juices of your practice, we're going to come into a penultimate posture called caterpillar. Those of you who know it, know it as this beautiful lengthening through the posterior chain. As we compress through the lungs, we innovate the vagus nerve, and create this really lovely, relaxing feeling that softens the body even more. So gently come to a seated pose as slowly as you wish and set your legs out in front of you. You can bend your knees as much as you need to, maybe even put a block underneath them or something that's comfortable. And then when you're ready, take your hands and just place them on the floor and walk them forward. I'd like you to draw your belly in and lift your heart up through your throat and lean forward. Try not to force your forehead to your shins. Instead, lead with your belly and soften your torso over your thighs. Lift your heart through your throat so you can activate through your low back. And once you've got this sensation, just activating a little through your low back, you can soften your forehead down towards the earth now and get a really nice long lengthening through the whole of your posterior chain. That's everything from your heels, lengthening through the back of your calves, softening through the back of your hamstrings and glutes, around the back of your hips and along the outer side of your spine, all the way in between your shoulders, back of your neck, and round the back of your skull. It's a long line of connective tissue that runs from the heels to the back of your eyebrows. Let it lengthen. Let it soften. Let it be. Last two minutes in this pose.
Stay between your thoughts. You don't need them now. Be free. Last couple of breaths in this posture. Just about getting to it, ready to release yourself. All right, yogis, we have arrived. I'd like you to very softly, very slowly walk your hands back towards your hips and bring yourself to a supine position. That just means lie down on your back as softly and slowly and comfortably as you can. If you have a bolster or something you'd like to place underneath your knees, please go ahead and shift that gently. Maybe you wish to put something underneath your neck, your own private meditation cushion perhaps. I know some of us have these beautiful props to use in the practice. Allowing yourself to become comfortable, uh, comfortable I'd like you to widen your arms long and wide like a giant T and rotate your palms up towards the sky. Now I'm going to come out of this pose and sit looking at the camera. And we're going to come through some breathing techniques. As we go deeper into pentacle pose, our final pose for the practice this evening. So take a nice long breath in. Feel your chest expand as you breathe in and then exhale to empty your lungs. Let go. We're going to do a little breathing together. Even longer, deeper exhales than we took at the beginning of the practice. We're going to inhale together for four and exhale together for eight. This will relax you and deepen your state of stillness right now. Slowing down, letting go. Allow your breath to leave your lungs. And we'll count together, inhaling now for one, two, three, four, and exhaling all the way. Stay with me. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, all the way, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Long breath out, eight. Seven, keep going. Six, five, four, all the way. Three, two, 
One, inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twice more, inhale, one, two, stay with me, three, four, exhale, eight, all the way, seven, six, five, keep going, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, all the way, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe naturally, body is relaxed, eyes are closed, let go.